Hi guys, it's Natalie and today I went into a video that I saw Judy do which just kind of inspired me and it's where she swatched all of her ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I feel like this is a formula that gets super forgotten about. It's really affordable. I think they're only like six dollars. They used to be five back in the day. <laughs> they're like the kind of like cream to powder shadow that just like lasts all day. I have all the sparkly finished ones because I feel like that's the most special and unique. But the thing is that ColourPop just like discontinues products constantly. They bring back products all the time too. So some of these colors are actually still available. Maybe not in the same packaging, but I know that they just brought back some of these ones from this like Christmas collection a few years ago. And then these are some like older ones that they also brought back recently. So I thought it'd be fun to swatch them, kind of compare them with each other. These are all of my Super Sock shadows. And I feel like it's just a form that gets forgotten about a little bit and is actually really good. So I know that some of mine are kind of old, so they might be a little bit dry. <laughs> and I know that there is a way to like refresh them. Like you can put like mixing mediums in them or something but i i just don't i just don't know i'm gonna start down here work our way up because we have 18 shadows to swatch i don't know if i can fit them all on my arm but i hope i can this is the first shade flipper this is like a metallic orange shade i honestly rarely wear orange eyeshadow it's probably like one of the least common colors I have in my collection just because it's not my favorite color on me but this one's kind of that like mac and cheese color. <laughs> the thing is that this is like pretty old and you can even see it's like shrunken a little in the pan on the sides I don't know but like it feels dry to the touch but it still is like super sparkly and pretty and basically looks the same on the skin as it always has. This one's Sailor I'm pretty sure they still do this one as well. This one is like a kind of beige color with like silver and different colored glitters in it. It almost has like a pink reflect as well. I always remember this one being like way more subtle because of its pink reflect. It has that like iridescent quality to it, but it's still really pretty. It's kind of like one of those one and done shades. It's a little peachy. And this one definitely is just like a more subtle one and it's hard to see the swatch because it blends right into my skin tone. <laughs> this one, I'm also sure that they brought this one back tassel. This one is also just as old as those. It's just this pure silver glitter. I remember people being like, this is a dupe to um, the Fenty Diamond Bomb, which it kind of is. I have a Fenty Diamond Bomb. Um, but this one's way more like has a white like iciness to it whereas the diamond bomb like is basically clear this one's just like a white glitter it's a really pretty topper shade these are the next three these are all in limited edition packaging so i'm not sure if they still have some of these i'm pretty sure they these are two like birthday ones and I think they've brought some of these back before but this one's from the My Little Pony collection it's called it Sunbeam. It's like a periwinkle with a pink shift. Really pretty color. The pink shift is like pretty apparent in person. It's just kind of fun to like go through your collection and see what you have. I think especially with like single shadows, they get lost so often and especially when they're individually packaged like this, they just kind of get lost in your collection, kind of forget about them. So it's nice to just like go through. I hope this kind of inspires you to like look at stuff in your own collection. This one kind of looks like it's doing something funky on top. What is that? I think this one's just super chunky. This one's Birthday Wish. It's like a beige with a pink, it's kind of like a grungy gold with like a pink glitter in it. It almost looks like it hard panned or something. I can't really tell. 
but it's like I really dug into this one back in the day. I haven't used these, some of these ones on my eyes in a while. It's just feeling pretty dry, feeling pretty dry. I'm the kind of person that will like still hold on to makeup even if it stopped working just because of the sentimental value of it. Like I just love limited edition packaging and so I'll keep it. This one's birthday cake. This is one of the first ones I got actually. You can really see that I love this one. This one is just like a rose gold color. It doesn't really have a shift or a different color glitter in it or anything. It's just the rosy tone. I took this one on vacation with me. I love that like pink rosy shade. I feel like the thing in my collection that kind of replaced this is the Pat McGrath um, Bronze Divinity palette has one of the astral shades is like this exact kind of color and it's just like way more sparkly and glittery and so it just like replaced this for me but obviously two completely different price points <laughs> these are the next three um i do know that some of these are still available um we're getting into like much more recent colors now <laughs> i'll definitely mark in the description box all the shades in the order i swatched them and also like if they're still available or not. This one is Force Behavior. It's from the collection that they did that had like the bugs on it. So it has like little butterflies. And I have another one after from the same collection. This one's like a champagne pink reflect. Probably the most common color amongst ColourPop Super Shock Shadows is that like champagne with the pink reflect. This one's a little more like beigey though. It's a little bit deeper than some of the other ones. I love the sound of like closing and opening things. And then this one is EXO. And also with the butterfly packaging, it's from the same collection. This one's like a berry with a pink and gold glitters in it. This one actually feels really like surprisingly emollient, like even more than Force behavior, probably because I just haven't used it as much. That one's so pretty. The gold sparkles in that one really come through. This was another one of my favorites, Set to Stun. It's a deep pink, but it has like every color glitter in it, like every color. It's honestly kind of rainbow. It's super pretty. This one is so stunning. I feel like they've improved the Super Shock formula as time has gone on to be a little bit more emollient, just like in general. That one's like, the base is almost like a reddish, like coppery pink. But I just love this one because it's so sparkly. I definitely prefer Super Shock shadows when they're more sparkly <laughs> and have like more glitters going on in them. These are the next three I'll do. These two first, these were, I mean, we're getting into ones that are like, these are all my favorites now. <laughs> um, Frog will do first. I feel like this was such an OG Super Shock Shadow. Like everyone was like, you need Frog. It's basically a, like an icy champagne with like every color glitter in it. And mine has definitely hard pan just for me, like absolutely going in on this thing. I mean, it's so gorgeous. This is like one of those first wet look shadows. I'm pretty sure they still have this shade because it is such a staple. It's just like every color glitter in this pinky champagne, super wet look eyeshadow, like absolutely gorgeous. And this one's quite old. And I mean, it still gives this super high intense shine versus some of the older ones that kind of lose that a little bit. This was Revolution. I'm pretty sure they came out with this for like a Christmas collection one year or something, but then they like put it in the line. Um, it's like a muted plummy color and once again it just has like every color glitter in it. This one's a little bit dry, like it hasn't aged super well. I used to love this one so much. It's 
still goes on so nice. I remember I just loved the grungy tone of this. It's just not quite as vibrant as other colors. And so you could really just get that like muted tone look that just goes so well. Like it's like a color, but it's natural, you know? This one I honestly got because of the packaging, which I think is fine. I do that sometimes. I do it a lot of the time, <laughs> but um, they did this like glittery packaging for this butterfly collection. And this is the shade Like a Butterfly. It's a kind of plummy brown with pink reflect. It's not my favorite color on me. And I think that's just why it didn't get used a lot. It just turns a little bit red on my skin tone, which is just not my favorite. You can see it just looks really red because even though it's brown, it has this like really strong pinky copper like shift in it. I just prefer Super Shock Tiles when they're more of a topper kind of consistency. And this one's definitely more just like eyeshadowy. These ones were all from a Christmas collection one year. I think this was their last like favorite holiday collection of mine. Um, I just, they did these Super Shock shadows with like all the different color packaging. And that's also where my favorite Super Shock highlight is from this collection. I'll actually show it to you. You can see they did the like lettering around the edge and this one is Counting Sheep. It's basically just flexitarian, but like 10 times the intensity. <laughs> this is Reggie Biv. Oh, oh my god, I, these packagings too, they have this like different color insert as well. Like this is such a like collector's ones. And these three are probably like my three favorite Super Shocks of all time. They're just so gorgeous. This one is a warm pink with a gold reflect, which I feel like they do a lot now. Like it's a way more common color. But oh my god, this one's just so glittery. This is the IRL. This is a duochrome, which I feel like they just have to do more of these. It's one of those like brown base with a green and lime reflect, like a gold green lime reflect. It's like absolutely stunning. This was like one of the first green eyeshadows I ever had. And I was like, oh, I guess I love green. I'm gonna show you on my finger. It's very similar to like Lime Chrome from Natasha Nonona in terms of the like lime green gold glitter in there. So stinking pretty. And also the packaging, this peach with the mint is gorgeous. And then this one is falling up. This is another champagne <laughs> in the pink rim. I mean, it's just gorgeous. This one's a like champagne. Once again, there are pink sparkles in here, but it's almost a little bit peachy as well. I feel like sometimes these just become so similar looking. It's crazy. But this is amongst all of the champagne-y super shock shadows I have, of which there are many. This one is my favorite. a little bit peachy, but like still with that almost silver reflect. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love the way they look when they're all crushed in the mint. <laughs> they're so sparkly. I'm like magpie with these. This one's from the Robbie D. Christie collection. I know that they semi-recently restocked this collection. So I don't know if they're ever bringing it back again or something. It was like super random that they restocked it. This one's mycelium. I loved how she did the like mushroom on the cap and this one oh, it's so emollient i really you like forget when you swatch all the old ones that are like a little bit crusty <laughs> like how nice they are when they're like new um this is another sort of champagne -y one <laughs> um it's a bit more gold though it's the most gold out of any i have and i really do like gold though, but it's like a peach undertone gold which i don't know it just it's just a pretty color. It's not the most unique. Honestly, it's like how many champagne peachy golds can you have? Clearly a lot. <laughs> it is a gorgeous color and it's super shiny. 
This one is from the Animal Crossing collection in Balloon Pop. They only did one Super Shock for the whole Animal Crossing collection. And it was this one, which made me go a little bit like, such a missed opportunity. The Animal Crossing collection honestly perturbs me. <laughs> it was such like a miss and I love Animal Crossing so much. And they just failed a little bit with the whole thing. But this one is like a dark gold with like a strong gold and pink reflect. It's super similar to a bunch of other ones. The only thing that makes it different is that it's really textured. It's on my fourth finger there. It's just like super textured. That's the only thing that sets it apart from any other super shock. But like the color is so similar to all these other ones. They could have done something more unique. They could have done a collection for like all different characters or I don't know. I can go on complaining about the Animal Crossing collection all day. <laughs> and this one is a much newer one. This is the last one I have. Honestly, I also got this one with the packaging, like Lime Queen Sparkles. Hello, that's everything to me. <laughs> it's my favorite color. Um, this one is Straight On Till Morning from Tinkerbell collection that they did. This one is just like a green base with like greeny and silvery glitter. But you can see it's nice and like limey. Uh oh, where am I putting it? I guess I'm gonna put it right here. These like colorful super shocks are so much fun. I feel like they haven't done enough of them. I'm honestly don't know how many they've done. They know they used to have some blue ones in the past. That one's just so gorgeous. I love this one. If you're into green eyeshadows, this is actually such a good sparkly green at like drugstore pricing. It's so hard to find green eyeshadow at like a low pricing, but I think ColourPop does it really well. So there's the shadows down here. They're kind of crusty a little, um, but up here, I mean, gosh, I love that color so much. I know everyone loves the like aesthetic sound of putting them in the thing. So that's what we're gonna do. all of my super shock shadows super shock shadows are just a great formula in my opinion i really like them i can definitely declutter some of these but they look nice when they're all in here so i don't really mind thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe um i just thought it would be so much fun to swatch these and it definitely was i hope it inspired you to kind of pick out your old super shock especially if you have some of these that were in limited edition collections like Definitely take them out and use them before they get crusty. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.